<laughs> it's Matt Damon! Action! What's up, all you hip, cool cats? My name is Kit, and welcome to Chicago Reacts Movies and TV. And uh, today, I'm flying blind. Uh, I'm going to check out Interstellar. Now, I know the film came out in 2014, and I know the film's kind of long. So I'm going to have to... I'm not, I don't know who's in it. I don't know who directed it. Uh, so enjoy, because I just, I just don't know this film, period. Um, I'm really excited for this. And if you want to check out my full reaction to this um, movie, uh, please consider being a patron supporter. You can find the full reacts to all of our reactions here at Chicago Reacts Movies and TV on our Patreon page. So uh, by being a patron, uh, you make sure that we're able to do all the stuff that we can do here at the 99 Perspectives uh, studio. So that being said, uh, buckle up. And let's go ahead and join Interstellar. Take a leg, turn, get a move on. Four o'clock today, you and me in the barn, herbicide resistance 101, check. Huh, I guess this is set in a future where everything has gone back to the 1930s and there's a dust bowl again? It's not a dust storm. Nelson's torching his whole crop. Light? They're saying it's the last harvest for okra ever. Whoa! Whoa! Get in. That's a drone. Get in, let's go. That's a drone. What about the flat tire? All right, driving through your uh, driving through a neighbor's cornfield or anything like that. To, to my, to to the viewers that are farmers, if you caught someone driving through your cornfield, what would you do? You told me to keep driving. Stupid. Uh, I guess that answers the Dumbass. Other but seriously, what, what dude, you, you see they're getting to the edge. Don't Bro, I'm not gonna be mad. Not with me. Just please try not to. Hey, relax. Murphy, what'd you do in school? That's a surveillance drone with outstanding solar cells. It's Indian. Okay, there you go. How did an Indian drone there must have been some sort of war that happened. Resources. I still pay my taxes. And where, where's that money going? There's no more armies. No, it doesn't go to the university. Oh. What do you mean? Okay, so was there some sort of devastating conflict? Well, hey, we're going through a conflict right now, but all right, interesting. Tax dollars don't go to the army anymore. What happened to the... What caused this shit to happen? What's your waistline? A what, 32? I'm about 33 inseam. I'm not sure I see what you're getting at. Are you telling me it takes two numbers to measure your own ass, but only one to measure my son's future? We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers. Good farmers, like you and Tom. Murph is a great kid. She's really bright, but she's been having a little trouble lately. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected versions. Corrected? Explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. What? I ah, I what? Look, all right. We landed on the goddamn moon. Okay. I'm tired of people saying, "No, oh, no, we did. no, we landed on the goddamn moon." All right. Um, you know, a bold move for this movie to make a statement like this. Please, I hope the father says something that will slap those two people back into reality. And if we don't want a repeat of the excess and wastefulness of the 20th century, then we need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. And you know, one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. And if we had any of those left, the doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain before she died and said afterwards. Murph got into a fistfight with several of her classmates over this Apollo nonsense. I'll... Look, I hope I never have to live to see the day where we have to tell people don't look at the stars. I, for one, am a 
huge supporter of space travel, investments in space technology, um, rockets to the moon, rockets to Mars. Um, humanity, if it's to survive, I'm going to take a quote from Elon Musk, we're going to have to leave our island Earth and go into the great void. I, I, I want to see NASA properly funded. I want to see success happen for SpaceX. I want to see um, all the space agencies across the planet to be successful in getting mankind to other planets, moons. I want to see that happen, but uh, I hope I never live to see the day where I'm sitting down li listening to a conversation about how the Apollo missions were useless. That is... That is... Uh, that is something I don't want to see. I don't really want to hear it. Um, wow. Uh, kudos to the actress who's spewing out that nonsense. God damn. So we thought it would be best to bring you in and see what ideas you might have for dealing with her behavior on the home front. Yeah, you know what? Um, there's a game tomorrow night. She's going through a bit of a baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy and soda. I think I'll take her to that. <laughs> Peeling off the fields and heading over. Something's interfering with the compass. What are they doing? Wait, so the AI just went to the, to the house? Huh, maybe there is a ghost. How far back did humanity regress where that's the New York Yankees? I remember seeing a... Well, not a sandstorm of that size, but uh, when I did my first tour in Iraq, we were in Baghdad, and a sandstorm came into the city. Didn't look anything like that, though. No, nothing, nothing like that. It was far more tamer looking. Let's mask up. This film came out in 2014. Interesting. Masks up. All right, there you go. It's not Morse, Murph. It's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Wait, you should take her with you. Come on, get the fuck out of here. No, no, I'm sorry. I hate that. Like, oh, I found something, but you can't see it. So no, 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 no. Bring her along. Ah! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not a ghost. It's gravity. And it's coded to where they're getting coordinates. Who's doing that? Bench from the bolt cutters. Bolt cutters, there you go. The little head piece of advice, everyone should own a pair of bolt cutters. I got a pair of bolt cutters too. Step away no, no, from no, the no, fence! No. Don't shoot, don't shoot. You're not armed. Your daughter's in the car. Don't be afraid! What? What? How did you find this place? Where's my daughter? You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Don't make me take you down again. Sit down. What the fuck? That's a robot? What? Are you still thinking you're a Marine, pal? Marines don't exist anymore. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I am a former Marine. I don't like being said that we don't exist anymore, good sir. Can you repeat that statement one more time before my robot marine knocks you out? Who are you? Dr. Brand. And I knew Dr. Brand once. He was a professor. What makes you think I'm not? Well, engineer's cute either. Please, <laughs> Dr. Brand. Hello, Cooper. Professor Brand. Explain to me how you found this facility. Kind of an accident. We sort of stumbled upon it. We were on a salvage run. We came. You're sitting the in the best kept secret in the world. Nobody stumbles in here. Nobody stumbles out. Cooper, please cooperate with these people. We're NASA. 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 The same NASA you flew for. Wait. What? Wow. How'd you get that budget, NASA? Because I know for a fact 
NASA doesn't even have a quarter of a fraction of what's, of course, it's Hollywood. Blight, wheat, seven years ago, okra, this year. Now there's just corn. And we're growing more than we ever have. Well, with like the uh, potatoes in Ireland and the wheat in the Dust Bowl, the corn will die. God. All right, so I'm going to assume that there was a devastating conflict. Things got out of hand. And Earth is dying. That is, uh... That is so... Sad. So... I, I wonder I wonder if we're gonna learn more of the backstory of just how bad things got. I mean, are they looking at doing space exploration? Like what 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 are they going to do? We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. Okay, I'm interested. Our final expedition. You sent people out there looking for a new home? The Lazarus missions. I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. All right, so when I react to World War Z, uh, Brad Pitt's character was made up to be this great UN secret special forces agent guy. And of course, the pacing of that film was happening so fast, it was ridiculous. I didn't even really believe anything that was happening. Of course, it was zombie movies, so let's turn your brain off. I find this build up to him being this pilot. A little bit more believable, but it's interesting that that nominally said that said that the ghost uh just directed him to what remains of NASA. Okay. Alright, we'll we'll see where this film goes. I, I I hope it doesn't end up like contact. You know, Wade to see the aliens, what they look like turned out to be it was an image of her father. Yeah. Out near Saturn, a disturbance of space-time. What? They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. Twelve, in fact, from our initial probes. You sent probes into that? Mm-hmm. We sent people into it. What? I mean, look. Uh, okay, you found a wormhole. Now, here's where my, you know, my 40K brain, Warhammer 40K brain comes. Are you sure that that's not a gateway into the hellscape known as the warp. Uh, you know, or is it at maybe some other gateway to some other dimensional hell? I mean, I remember that film, Event Horizon. Of course, that didn't take place on Saturn. It took place on Neptune. And uh, let's just say things were not all cash money on the Event Horizon. So there you go. Hence the bravery. No. You don't have the resources to visit all 12. No. Oh. Holy shit. The first gravitational anomalies changed everything. Suddenly we knew that harnessing gravity was real. So I started working on the theory and we started building this station. But you haven't solved it yet. Mm, not to sound cold hearted, but plan B seems far more realistic um and if there was the possibility of finding a earth-like planet that would be just like our planet where humans could survive i think plan b would probably be the most sustainable at least if you want to start start talking about setting up a civilization there i mean it could be done but ew. all right plan a try and get this and it seems more reasonable. Earth. Go. If you're leaving, just go. Really gonna leave? Mankind was born on Earth. It was never meant to die here. I can subscribe to that. I... One of the things I wish that I saw more of growing up was the fact that maybe birds are investments in space. I mean, I... You know... I saw videos, and we've all seen videos of NASA landing on the moon, great space race, but, you know, since then, or at least during that time, at least before SpaceX, um, we haven't really seen, you know, the great endeavor, the great journey outside of planet Earth. And, I, I, you know, it's, 
one thing to say, oh, well, you want to go to space, easier said than done, right? But let's look at the achievements of SpaceX, for example. And yeah, it's a private corporation, but look, I got to respect the technology. We have, right now, they have ships that are capable of landing rockets, you know, by themselves, perfectly set up to do the next launch. We're looking at, you know, going deeper into our solar system, in fact, outside of our solar system. And we have to make that next step. Um, I wish I could see another one. You know, I, I wish I could see us landing on Mars or going further past our solar system. I want to see that because the only way we're going to grow as a species is if we do make that endeavor into space. It's the final frontier. Ah, I mentioned Star Trek right there. So there you go. But it is our final frontier. I'm liking where this movie's going. But there's a lot of twists and turns. And I'm so interested in the backstory of this to where it got to the where there was some sort of devastating conflict where it got to the point to where no money for armies. The world needs food and instead of anything else. And uh yeah. That's um it's a very interesting backstory that I wanted to learn more about. I hope they talk about it in the film. But it's interesting that they were shown some parts that looked like they were from a Ken Burns documentary. Look at the books. Look at this. It says date. Why? You're not listening. It says date. Time's going to change for me. It's going to run more slowly. Now, when we get back. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. Everybody good? Plenty of slaves for my robot colony? <laughs> I gave him a humor setting, so he'd fit in better with his unit. A giant, sarcastic robot. Uh, I'm already loving that robot already. Gotta have a little sarcasm on the mission. Uh, interesting to point out uh, the tone of uh, leaving. I'm not going to admit, there's a little bit of some waterworks, you know, leaving leaving his family for this journey. Um, but okay, they're going to Saturn to the wormhole. What's your humor setting, Dars? That's 100%. Let's bring it on down to 75, please. Oh. Stage two. No, don't bring it down to 75%. Keep it at 100. Don't do that to Lars. What's wrong with you? All right, I think I have a favorite character already. It's a robot. I love the robot, even though even though I despise abominable intelligence. Okay, taking control. Approaching module port, 500 meters. You know, one thing I want to point out, okay, so NASA seemed to have discovered the anomaly of the gravity situation, right? And of the wormhole. Uh... You know, probably won't be brought up in the film. Uh, but, I, you know, if, let's say, NASA was able to build it, so at least according to the lore of this film, NASA was able to build this underground bunker area, you know, in secret. Okay, where, where's the Chinese space agency, the Russian agency, the European Union space agency, you know? And there's other countries that have space programs, too, um, you know, I would assume that maybe they would also, I mean, maybe they're gone, but I just, I, I find it unbelievable that other countries would not still have in secret maybe a space program as well. Target locked. Well done. Okay, helmet's on. Good job. I hope that the robot doesn't go psycho and start killing everybody. That would suck. Hey, you okay? Yeah. You all right? Mm. Yeah, I just need a minute. <clears throat> Okay, I think we have some Dramamine in the hab pot. I'm just gonna go get that. Oh. Might be in the cryo bale. Just be a sec. Hey, Bram? Yeah. Bring a lot. <laughs> okay, there we go. Huh. Interesting that they're using. Guitars? Let's go with that trajectory one more time. Eight months to Mars. Counter orbital slingshot around. 14 months to Saturn. Nothing has changed on that. Let me ask you something. Why are you whispering? They can't hear you. Dr. Brand and Edmonds. They close? I wouldn't know. 
90% wouldn't know or 10% wouldn't know. I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope that the robots just don't crazy don't just don't go crazy. I, I hope I hope they remain very, 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 very helpful. Hey guys. Uh, Dad's about to go down for the long nap. So I wanted to give you an update. I really hope you guys are doing doing great. I know you're gonna get this message. Professor Brands assured me that he's gonna get it to you. He sent you a message. She's pretty upset with him for leaving. If you record any messages, I can get them transmitted to Cooper. Millimeters of aluminum, that's it, and then nothing. Out there for millions of miles won't kill us in seconds. You know that some of the finest solo yachtsmen in the world don't know how to swim? They don't know. I mean, if they go overboard, they're done. Oh, wow, that's reassuring, buddy. We're explorers, huh? Like, what? <laughs> Why would you share that story with somebody? So we got a pretty good idea what we're going to find on the other side, huh? Navigationally. Guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Okay. Going into the wormhole. That's interesting. In all other science fiction, like when it comes down to like a warp hole or a wormhole it looks like a hole interesting they're using a sphere that's uh that is that is pretty freaking creative Okay, well, where are they going? By the way, they're going to another galaxy. Fucking hell. Miller's side has kept pinging thumbs up, as has Dr. Manns. Um, Edmonds went down three years ago. Transmitter failure? And maybe. He was sending the thumbs up right until it went dark. But Miller still looks good, though, right? Because she's coming up fast. Mm hmm With one complication. The planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. Look, I, I could swing around that neutron star to decelerate. No, 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 it's not that. It's time. The gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Well, how bad? Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Okay, well, well awesome, awesome. Right, but then, you know what? To, to the wonderful person, the brave astronaut who landed on that planet, Buddy, you, you took one for the team. You took one for the team, but you get, no, you gotta, we'll, we'll, we'll build schools in your honor. That's, that's what I can offer you. Hello, wait, please come back for me. How many years have gone by fast? Then we take the ranger down, we get Miller, we get her samples, we come back, we analyze, we debrief, we're in, we're out, we lose a little fuel, but we save a whole lot of time. That'll work. No! That's good. There's not gonna be time for monkey business or chit chat down there. No, 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 I, I don't like this plan at all. In fact, I would say, because you don't know what the whole thing was the black hole in time. No, no, my spidey sense is going off, uh-uh. Miller, Miller, hey, you know, I'm all for Miller time, but, uh, no, I don't think. I, I, I don't know. Case? Yep. You know. This is a bad idea. Cars talks plenty for both. Attention to detail in all space science fiction. You hear the, like, like the outside noise. I like that they keep the vacuum of space quiet. Why? Why? No! This was Goodbye, a bad Ryan. idea. I think this is a bad idea. No, no. There's Don't put a don't put a colony by a black hole. I'm not a doctor, scientist, or professor, but I know that. No, hey Miller, you're on your own, buddy. 
meters per hour. Oh, God. Come on. So, so are they on land? Because it's a water world. Okay, so this is a water world. I guess they landed on a sandbar? All right, the music building up to this is, is, is insane. Towards the mountains. Mountains? Those aren't mountains. The waves. What? Oh! No! Moving away. Oh, no! Holy shit! You got it. Fuck the data. Run, 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 run. Come on! I I knew that this this plan was a bad idea. Go, go, go! The engines are flooded. We're gonna have to start out. Ah! Holy cow! Like I know there's a little bit more to this, and uh, you know, hey, surf's up, right? You know, hey. Shout out to all of our surfers in the Chicago Reacts movies and TV audience. But, uh, uh man, wow, that is, that, is, that is a crazy wave. To our surfers, what's, what's the biggest wave you ever rode on? And then number two, god damn it, I was right about that planet. I was right about that planet. Hey, Miller, we'll build schools in your honor, but fuck that. Every hour there. Seven years. Fuck that. Dumb idea. The stuff of life, huh? What's this gonna cost us, Brand? A lot. Decades. Because of the time slippage. On this planet's time, she just landed hours ago. She, she probably just died minutes ago. The data Dory received was just the initial status, echoing endlessly. Oh, you're not prepared for this. She not, should not have gone to that freaking planet. Simple as that. There should have been nothing preventing them from doing that. Oh my god, not again, not again, not again! Copot, you're up, okay? Go, 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 come on, come on, come on, get, yeah! Oh. Rest in peace, Doyle. Here was the Emperor now. Hello, Ron. I've waited years. Many years. By now it must be. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. Holy shit. Messages span 23 years. Oh, God. Hey, Dad. Check it in. Um, oh. I met another girl, Dad. Look at this. Your grandpa. His name's Jesse. I kind of want to call him Coop, but no one's ah. said. Oh, Grandpa died last week. We buried him out in the back 40 next to Mom, and I guess I'm letting you go. I don't know wherever you are, Dad. Um, I hope that you're at peace. But today is my birthday. And it's a special one because you told me you once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. I think he'd be, take a lot of pride in knowing that his daughter is working there at NASA. So he at least told him that. Ugh. Ugh, pardon me. Got some salty discharge coming from my eyes. <laughs> no, no, you're not seeing me cry. <clears throat> Are you calling my life's work nonsense, Murph? 
No, I'm saying that you've been trying to finish it with one arm. No, with both arms tied behind your back. I'll finish what you started. Good, good. Forgive me, but... There's nothing to forgive. I, I lied, Murph. You lied? What'd you lie about? The equation. It's all a lie. This was all a sham. this is to make sure those embryos get on a planet that does so again this is another planet that's close by that black hole which again stupid idea don't 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 go there I think Edmonds might have been the better idea of course let's face it she wants to see her old boyfriend but yeah I don't think there's anything you do for humanity now what a, what a mind fuck I'm sorry hold on did they did they crash into that cloud? Frozen cloud. No way. This astronaut couldn't be alive. I mean, okay, so this astronaut is apparently the one that inspired the other 11 to go. Dr. Man. And who is Dr. Man? I mean, are they going to find a dead body or... All right, Dr. Man. Spelled with two N's. Dr. Man. <laughs> it's Matt Damon. <laughs> they shot Matt Damon in outer space. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh no, I'm sorry, sorry. I know everyone's on the edge of their seat, like, oh, it's Doctor Man. Like, okay, it's Matt Damon. Sorry, I I'm pretty sure. Look, this movie's been great. The acting, the storytelling, phenomenal, on point. Music really builds up the scene. I wasn't expecting Matt Damon, okay? <laughs> I should be laughing at it, because I'm pretty sure his character is going to say some poignant, very integral stuff to the plot. <laughs> but Dr. Man. <laughs> Dr. Man, played by Matt Damon. All right, Matt Damon, how are we going to get out of this one? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he must have been asleep for a long time. Down at the surface, and there is a surface, the chlorine dissipates. The ammonia gives way to crystalline hydrocarbons, breathable air, to organics, possibly even to life. The supply kit there really did most of the legwork. to being kit oh what what'd you do to my boy why did you massacre him so oh kip oh rest in peace buddy rest in peace dr brand i'm sorry to tell you that your father died today he had no pain he was at peace i'm sorry for your loss wow is that murph she's She's grown. Bran, did you know? He told you, right? <laughs> you knew. This was all a sham. He left us here. I just want to know if you left me here to die. What? What do you know, Matt Damon? Well, he, he never even helped to get people off the earth. And dragged to solve the gravity equation for 40 years. Amelia, your father solved his equation before I even left. Then why wouldn't he use it? The equation couldn't reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. You need more. More. More what? More data. You need to see into a black hole. The laws of nature prohibit a naked singularity. Probably is that true? If a black hole is an oyster, then the singularity is the pearl inside. The gravity's so strong, it's always hidden in darkness, behind the horizon. Um, okay, this is a little tense moment. This is very draconian. A very... Blunt, a 
brutal way of looking at saving humanity. In other words, the, the guy that sent all these people into space, his only logical react, thought was, okay, set up a colony with those embryos and restart the human species. Um, I don't know how they're going to solve this problem, but at the current state of the situation that they are in, it's the most logical one. Oh, that's so brutal to even say that, too. Now, the incredible sacrifice is being made by the people on Earth who are going to die because in his fucking arrogance, he declared their case hopeless. I'm sorry, Cooper. Their case is hopeless. No. No. We are the future. It's worthless. It's half the answer. <laughs> I know he has a name, but it's Eric Foreman. I, I know. I know it's not his actual name. It's Eric Foreman from that '70s show. <laughs> I guess that's her boyfriend. We just have to keep working, same as ever. Yeah, but. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what Professor Rand was manipulating Rand us to gave do? up on us. I'm still trying to solve this. It's a chance for the people on Earth. Talk to me. Gargantua is an older spinning black hole. It's what we call a, a gentle singularity. Gentle? They're hardly gentle. But the tidal gravity is so quick that something crossing the horizon fast might survive. A probe, say. What happens after it crosses? After the horizon is a complete mystery. So, what's to say there isn't some way that the probe can glimpse the singularity and relay the quantum data? If he's equipped to transmit every form of energy that can pulse. Just when did this probe become a he, Professor? TARS is the obvious candidate. Well, I could take you to the probe sites, but I don't think this... Something is amiss here. Something's Grant amiss. Obi Something's wrong. Have to go back. What they do to you, Kip? Oh, rest in peace, buddy. Just... Okay, that was pretty cool. Uh, again, you know, I think I would take the risk of going to Edmund's planet, third time's a charm. Because look at this hostile, cold wasteland. It's not set. Even if the options were limited. I mean, no, no. This, this is not suitable. But the continuation of humanity, even for those 5,000 embryos, I, I'd want them all to be freezing their butts off for the rest of their natural lives. No. Tars, what's taking so long? Professor, I am having trouble completing the boot up. I don't understand. When I left Earth, I thought I was prepared to die. The truth is, I never really considered the possibility that my planet wasn't the one. What? He's a Whoa! What the fuck? We cannot survive here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matt Damon. Uh, Matt Damon, stop being evil. There's no surface. No. I tried to do my duty, Cooper. But I knew the day that I arrived here, that this place had nothing. Oh, you son of a bitch. I command, there's a 50 50 chance you're gonna kill yourself. Those are the best thoughts I've had in years. Whoa! No. Case. I have a fish. Go, 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 go. And away. Oh my God! Come on, hurry. I see him. I see him. Okay, so bank, bank right. Oh. Holy shit! Come on, come on, get him out of there. This data makes no sense. You coward. Uh, if he takes control of that ship, we're dead. Come on, you gotta stop him. Dr. Mann, please respond. He doesn't know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since Tars disabled it. Nice. What's your trust setting, Tars? Lower than yours, apparently. <laughs> All right, I like Tars. All right, Tars. Tars a robot. All right. Okay, I might warm up to some AI. I think TARS is pretty much on the point. 
not attempt docking. Auto docking sequence withheld. Override. Unauthorized. Matt Damon's being evil. <laughs> what? You, you, you were afraid to tell the truth. Oh, I hope Tars left a booby trap. Something. Come on, Tars. Give me that ace in a hole, you crazy robot. Imperfect no. contact. That pro here's the thing. All right, man, unless Tars says it, that is such a perfect protocol because you have to put in a, take an account all those astronauts, including Doctor Man. Every single one of them went to the, all, all those different planets. They'd have to go crazy. There has to be that that scenario of just in case one of them went off, you know, over the edge, like. Our good friend Matt Damon, also known as Dr. Man in the film. Um, yeah, because, again, they're probably not all there mentally. Oh, wow. That's, that's smart on Tar's part. All right. Very interesting. I wonder if that was a proto... Again, I, I'm a huge fan of lore. I, I wonder if that's maybe might see a backstory into that. You deserve everything that's going to happen to you, you cowardly... Oh, that better not blow up the ship. Do not open the inner hatch. I repeat, do not. This is not about my life or Cooper's life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. Idiot. 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 It is not. Idiot! Guys, try, try, try and save that ship, whatever's left of it, please. Oh, right, well, maybe it's a long shot. Holy shit, if this dude can pull it off and actually Who save the you? endurance. Docking. Got it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, do it. Holy Here's shit. Come on, Case, do it. Go. Go. Come on. Holy shit. I gotta say, for a film that I did, that I, okay, I've seen the name, right? Never saw it, but holy cow. This film's a nail biter. I'm speechless for this one. Again, I know I laughed at Matt Damon and that, that 70s guy being in the film. But all in all, great, great film altogether. Matt Damon, why were you so evil? Come on, come on, robot. Come on. Do it. We are locked. Up. There you go. Main engine's on. Go, 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 go. Pushing out of orbit. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, they're out of orbit. Oh, what a nail biter. I'm, I'm seeing, again, suspense, music, acting, on point. Um, but they, I, I, I didn't expect them to save the ship. I thought they were like, oh, it's blown up. That's it. I was expecting them to do that, but okay. One hell of a pilot right there. Woo! Cooper, we're slipping towards Gargantua. Shall I use main engines? No. We'll let us slide as far as we can. The backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. They're all good. Good. We let Gargantua pull us down close to the horizon, then a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. Why does Tars have to detach? Oh, well, we have to shed the weight to escape the gravity. Newton's third law. The only way humans have ever figured out of getting somewhere is to leave something behind. Wow. Sorry, I know this is all intense, but uh, you know, interesting enough, when they attached themselves to the spaceship as it was spinning down to the planet, you know, I found it funny they were laughing. And for my next trick, yeah, my next trick is uh, going through a black hole. There you go. Uh, this maneuver is going to cost us 51 years. Detach. Goodbye, Tars. Goodbye, Dr. Brent. See you on the other side, Coop. See you there, Slick! You told me we had enough resources for both of us. We agree to 
90%. No. No. Do that. Need horizon. Port side, dipping down beneath it to go through it. Heading towards blackness. It's all black. Why did you object to it? Is he in hell? I mean, it's oddly specific that, you know, that, that he's in that one part of the room. I mean, maybe she, maybe it's the way for him. <laughs> Okay, so how trippy would it be if that if somehow he's able to make sure that he doesn't go? That would be crazy. Like, and I mean, then of course the adventure would have never happened in the first place. But maybe, maybe that's the way he can get out of this. Make him stay, Merv. Oh, <laughs> don't let me leave, Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv! No! 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 Ah. <laughs> uh, I guess he just can't fix time. Hey, folks, every minute counts, okay? Always remember. It was you. In their fifth dimension, they saved us. In the off chance, like I said, to our astrophysicists, astronauts, uh, physicists, doctors, professors, scientists that are in the Chicago Reacts movies and TV audience, uh, please, someone, in de write a detailed comment about this. Is this possible? Seriously. It, by the way, how awesome would it be if we actually did have an astronaut be a YouTube subscriber to... Uh, <laughs> Our, our 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 little humble YouTube channel that would be great. So, to 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 the astronauts astronaut community, I hope we have one of you as our subscribers because we're gonna need to, uh, some science explanation for all of this if this is possible. If if all right, I, I'll I'll be looking forward to the YouTube comments in in, in this video. So. And you know what? I, I'm actually looking forward to the message that, that I get a text message like, hey, Kit, turns out we actually do have an astronaut that's a subscriber to our channel. And he, ex and he or she explained what's going on. Do you have the quantum data? Roger, I have it. Even if you communicate it here, she won't understand its significance for years. Uh, I, I get that, Tars. All right, but we, we've got to figure something out, all right? Yeah. The people on Earth are going to die. Think, think, think. They didn't bring us here to change the past. You can't change the past. You can change the future. That's right. Oh, they didn't bring us here at all. We brought ourselves. Okay. We're here to communicate with a three-dimensional world. We're the bridge. They didn't choose me, they chose her. For what, Cooper? <laughs> to save the world. There you go. All right. You know, and I take back that statement. Like, I know Plan B, very draconian, and he saves his fellow colleagues so they could... Hopefully, Edmund's planet is habitable, and humanity and those 5,000 embryos can actually have a chance to survive. But you know what? 
If this is a way to save everyone, I'm on board with this. Let's make it happen. We code the data into the movement of the second hand. Al has her anticlimactic with uh, her brother because it seemed like her brother was nuts. And you just burnt his cornfield. How's it going to feed his family? They're not beings. They're us. What I've been doing for Murph, they're doing for me. For all of us. For people couldn't build this. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Well, one day. Mr. Cooper. All right, let's take it slow, sir. Nice and easy, Mr. Cooper. Remember, you're no spring chicken anymore. Actually, you are 124 years old. What on earth? Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Well, like I said, not I am not a doctor, scientist, professor person, but what the hell? <laughs> All right, that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> that was funny. You goddamn kids and your upside down baseball. What's wrong with some of y'all? Back in my day, when I was a hundred years younger, we played baseball straight on the flat earth. But oh no, you old kids want to just be fancy with your upside down baseball. <laughs> yes, I'll be that, you know what, you know what, no. I, I will not be that cantankerous old person. I'll be like, why don't you shut up, Billy? If the kids want to play upside down baseball, then gosh darn it, be golly, that's their constitutional right in outer space or wherever we're at. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Somehow I get a southern accent when I'm when I'm a uh, hundred and thirty or twenty years old. Paris House and Museum. Okay. Confirmed. Additional customization. Humor. 75%. Confirmed. Auto self-destruct, team minus 10, 9. Let's make that 60. No, don't do that to him. Come on. Well, to your relatives. It's habitable. Interesting. I find it also interesting that. It, never, never mind. I'll keep my. Hold on. All right. Directed by Christopher Nolan. All right. Ah, uh, wow. Woo. What a long journey uh, on that Fury Road. Uh, there's a lot to unpack. First of all, music, really important to the storytelling. I mean, you're feeling the sense of dread, adventure. Everything is tense. Uh, the relationship between. Cooper and uh, Murphy and his son and uh, the relationships and just how it was all interconnected. I was not expecting this whole idea of going back to save the planet. I thought it was just like it was going to be more dread and, oh, we got to do plan B. Everyone else is going to die. And uh, it, it, it was... Uh, I also found it interesting, too, that the wormhole or 
that 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 they found at Saturn was something built by by us, indicating that we evolved. So both options in the film. Sorry, I'm like I'm a little taken back because again, I never saw this film. You know, it's just um that both options were were viable, like Plan A and Plan B, and it just required transcending space and time and wibbly wobbly timey wibbly with a little dash of gravity um again if we have an astronaut in our audience please try if the science is all possible with that to the, to the best of your ability no pressure i'm looking forward to getting a message from my fellow reactors like hey kid you remember that request for an astronaut turns out we got one anyways anyways i digress um i know i laughed when we saw that 70s show uh eric foreman that's not his real name that was played <laughs> and then i laughed at matt damon being dr man <laughs> the evil 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 matt damon that was hilarious um uh this film was an emotional roller coaster you you're feeling the pain of cooper you're feeling the pain of of murphy losing her father um interesting thing i want to just kind of bring up is that is um you know obviously they built cooper station by saturn but did it ever kind of occur to everyone, like, hey, wait, we sent those four astronauts into that wormhole. Maybe we should kind of, like, find them? Uh, I'm very glad that you found that Edmund's planet was habitable. But um, one thing that I would be vocally against if I was on that mission, if I was smart enough to be on that mission, yeah, that, that Miller's planet being so close to um, that black hole, dumb idea. No, 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 no. Fuck it. M Miller's dead. We'll name schools after Miller, but no, we're not going to like one hour there, seven years. And then when they got back to the ship, 23 uh, years have passed. Uh, I mean, talk, talk about a total uh, out of body experience. I don't know. I mean, it was like really traumatic, but uh, I would recommend this film. Uh, it's a little long, about almost three hours long, but uh, it was was a worthwhile trip i mean e even even when the scientist uh who said that he lied you know you feel his emotional pain that uh, you know i couldn't solve this equation but murphy was able to do it that's that's a good thing so um this was a roller coaster film uh i loved every minute of it and uh i'm rather glad that uh you know this is my first experience watching it so Thank you uh, for sitting down and enjoying it with me, too. If you are a Patreon supporter, you can see my full reaction uh, to this film, as well as other reactors' reaction to all the wonderful stuff that we have reacted to on Chicago's Reacts Movies and TV. Uh, my name is Kit, and if there's a fun video or movie you want us to react to, be it on Chicago Reacts or Chicago Reacts Movies and TV, uh, join our Discord, uh, join our conversation in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, if we do live long enough, if you're playing upside down baseball, play it safe. Bye, folks.